scattered across the besieged city of New Mombasa, five ODSTs were forced to find their way through a mangled urban landscape and a vicious Covenant invasion force. After making landfall, Gunnery Sergeant Buck lost contact with Captain Veronica Dare, the squad's only handler, and the key to their mission. Dare's objective was the city's superintendent AI construct housed in a mainframe below Oni's Alpha site, an important asset due to its recent discovery of a strange seismic anomaly only a few clicks north of the city. Problem is, there's only one way in from here, right through the hive. The captain intended to extract the AI to prevent it from being captured by the Covenant. But when their enemy's vessel above the city suddenly launched into slip space, their mission took a turn for the worse. While Buck was unable to locate Dare, he found another member of his squad, Romeo, and together they made their way to the new Mombasa Police Department, attempting to contact their squad's newest addition, a rookie who had also been lost somewhere in the city. Hey rookie, you out there? Respond, that's an order. At the other end of the island, Dutch and Mickey, the two remaining squad members, had destroyed the Oni Alpha site under strategic guidance from the UNSC. Although they did not know it at the time, their original mission objective was also there, buried somewhere below the burning wreckage of the Oni site. Eventually, Dutch and Mickey would find their other squad mates on the rooftop of the NMPD building, quickly linking up with them and making their way to Kikuani Station, hoping to find a way off the island. Wait here. We're gonna steal that ride. Once their escape was secured, however, Dare's mission became clear to Buck and he ordered the crew back to the Oni Alpha site where he would personally infiltrate the underground network in search of the captain. Six hours after the initial drop, well into the night, the lone rookie awakened, having been knocked unconscious by the drop's impact. As he pushed through the darkened city streets, he managed to find clues to the whereabouts of each squad mate, as well as the mission's real objective, eventually locating Dare in an underground network far below where the Oni building once lay. Alongside the captain, the rookie helped clear their way to the objective, the superintendent AI construct, and the data it held. But when they finally located the mainframe, a lone Huragok, an engineer, had extracted a subroutine called Virgil, the very program which discovered the seismic activity that initiated the Covenant invasion in the first place. When Buck finally reached Dare and the Rookie, the entirety of the Covenant's occupation force had set their sights on the soldiers, aggressively seeking the information the Huragok now carried. On October 21st, 2552, Gunnery Sergeant Buck, Captain Dare, and the Rookie pushed their way through a barrage from Covenant forces around the city's coastal highway to the west side where Uplift Reserve's main entrance lay. Along the way, they witnessed a new Covenant invasion force, a support fleet which augmented the remnants of the original assault and would come to occupy Earth for nearly an entire month to follow. While Buck and his squad would escape death as the Covenant glassed the city, the war would continue bitterly until the arrival of the Prophet of Truth and the largest Covenant fleet in recorded history on November 17, 2552. Humanity would not fight this battle unarmed, however. Information extracted from the Huragak, the Virgil subroutine specifically, showed exactly what the Covenant were looking for. An ancient forerunner artifact buried below the Earth's surface. This gateway portal would eventually become the site of humanity's final stand against the Covenant. And later, a memorial for all those who fought and died for mankind's survival. <laughs>